Hi, today we will be going through Hovercraft system made by Alec Games. So, first of all, uh, I would like to show you uh, what it is. So if we hit play, it's a, uh, well, Hovercraft, it floats and it turns. Here you can see it drifts, you can jump. It's tilted nicely, and yeah, it just adapts to the terrain. So if I just go over there, you can see a little very, very hilly place. The system will adapt to it and uh, align the hovercraft to not touch the ground. So yeah, he didn't. It didn't touch the ground there. It's just it was pretty rough. So yeah, um, I can select another hovercraft. This one is a bit bigger. It works too. And yeah, that's what it does. Now I will show you how to create a hovercraft. There is a very easy way to do so. It took me approximately 1.4 seconds. Uh, when I was speedrunning it, yes, I was speedrunning it. So I've got okay. I don't need these cubes. I just need one. Let's say that this is my model. So what I need to uh, make a hovercraft out of it is go to Window, Alec Games, Hovercraft System, and here Hovercraft Maker. Oh, sorry, not on the screen. It will automatically select uh, the model, like the object that you are uh, holding. And here you have a few options. So uh, I will not be using the new input system wrapper. Uh, I can use just the old legacy one, but it does have this option. Those hovercrafts were using uh, the new system uh, f from Unity. Uh, but here with the ground layer, there is a weird thing that I do not understand. You have to put one up, uh, like plus one layer, so if I want default, I have to pick transparent effects. I don't know why it happens, I will try to fix it. But anyway, let's hit generate, and I have a hovercraft. It's that simple, really. Uh, so, as you can see, I picked the transparent effects and select default, as I said. I will try to fix it. It will automatically uh, fill in some um, hover points here. It will put seven of them. That's kind of like a good number, I guess. Because oh, I didn't select the input type to be access here. If I want to use the old system. So yeah, here I have uh, hovercraft, and <laughs> that's all really. I just selected uh, hover, created the hovercraft with one button click, and yeah. Now, if you want to use the new input system. You can all just select it from the one uh, here selected, the input system. Um, or uh, here in the control where this hovercraft tilt uh, script is, you can add the uh, input wrapper. And here you just uh, reference this one. And let me just change it to external. And uh, external means that uh, you pass it with a function pass input uh, through the script. So you can do your own input wrappers if you want to. So yeah, it works the same, but I'm using the new input system. So it would work with a controller. So yeah, this is for the setup. Now I will walk you through uh, how th what does everything do in this system. Let's start from the system itself, uh, here, uh, hovercraft, it's the script hovercraft. First of all, input type, uh, it's how the script gets input, it's external or access. External, well, I already explained it, so I won't do, uh, do it again. Then the uh, lift type space, um, this uh, is uh, how the script references what's uh, up 
for it. So uh, it's word of local, and local means that uh, when the hovercraft will be pushed, uh, it will push um, vector three dot up. So this arrow. Uh, but if I set it to local, it will be. Um, if I like rotate this, uh, it will push it here. But if I set it to uh, this for local, it will push it on this arrow. But if I set it to word, uh, then it will push it to this arrow. Uh, it's like this. Yeah. Uh, I prefer using word space uh, because then it allows me to like uh, stay on tilted on walls. So next is ground check type. It's the detector down or word down or both. Detector down means that. Uh, the ground detector here. Uh, this will be referenced as uh, like the down. So when it checks if it's grounded, it will send a ray cast down from the detector down. And uh, if it's set to word down, it will send uh, send it like word space down. If it's both, it will try both using both methods. Now uh, here are correction spins, thrust correction spins. This is uh, uh, if you don't want this, just uh, if you don't want uh, like uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me <laughs> explain it again. Um, this is like as the tooltip says. There's tooltips for basically everything. Uh, this is speed. The speed of uh, matching uh, the from the thrust to the input. So the in the thrust will try to match the input. Um, I do not know how to explain it well, but okay. Let in play mode it will be simpler uh, to just show you. So here, when I turn, you can see that the uh, hovercraft is tilting. But so if I uh, s make it slower, it will change the tilt slower, and for the second, it will. Uh, rotate slowly and then it will speed up so if i set it to like very slow it will take a long time for it to fully speed up and it works the same oh and slow down too it works both ways it works the same for the uh, z correction to, uh, speed so if i set it to free it will take a bit to slow down and uh, be faster Whoa. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what this does. Center is just the center. Forward vector is was the forward to this hovercraft. Um, and uh, yeah, I just put it here at the forward. I can put it here too. Just it just has to point in the forward direction. Then the forward speed. This is the speed of. Uh, the hovercraft uh, when it goes forward, the backward speed is when it goes backwards, and the max speed is the max reached by velocity uh, to go forward. And this is just a uh, force mode. Uh, you have four Unity provided force modes for this. Uh, and the angular forces is just the speed of rotation, is the torque that's applied to the hovercraft when turning. Uh, the same with max angular speed and the angular force is just max angular force and angular force mode is just the same as here. And then uh, the ground detection distance. This is the distance uh, the vehicle will detect the ground from the ground detector. And note that. Um, uh, okay, let me put it down to showcase it. Um, it's better to leave it up a bit higher than you actually want it because you as you can see it's set to 2.4 here but it's actually floating like I don't know one maybe yeah, I would say so like 1.4 maybe uh, and that's because it's um, in the hover points uh, there is like forces and these lift forces are divided by the distances so it's like if you would s uh, squeeze a spring it's like it has some uh, space 
just put it higher, uh, a, a bit higher than you actually want to. Now ground detector is just a transform that the ground is going to be detected from. Uh, I suggest you put it inside of uh, the vehicle because if you put it outside, l let's say here, uh, it will be it could be under the ground and then not detect the ground actually. So uh, that can be a problem because vehicle will be just stuck. Uh, so now ground layer is just the layer mask on the ground. Hover height. Oh, when I uh, send the ground detection distance, I meant the hover height. The ground detection distance is just the distance that the vehicle will detect the ground. Uh, I'm very sorry, but I will not record this again. Uh, so this is the desired distance. Um, it will be a little lower, as you can see. Oh, I said lower. Okay, I will fix that later. Uh, okay, so now the max normal angle. Uh, it will be the max angle uh, of the normal uh, of the ground that the vehicle will not try to fix its position. And by fixing, I mean so. For example, I am here. Oh no, this is way too slow of a margin. Uh, I am here, and uh, my vehicle is like this. Yeah. Uh, so now the normal of this uh, here is uh, more than 40. It will push fr from this normal point here uh, outside so that you will not be on this normal. So it will push like shoop and then. Uh, you will be like this. And that's just like normal fixing. I, f I called it that. But you know, it's just something. Um, and then the normal force mode, normal fix force mode is just the force mode apply that's used for the normal fixing. Here are just additional uh, grounded force up. This means that uh, there is going to be force applied when. Uh, the vehicle is grounded and when it's not grounded uh, jump force is just the force of jumping and the jump force mode is force mode of jumping now let's go to hover points here you have the list of the hover points just like this uh, so yeah uh, a list of them you reference all of the hover points here I have a list of these hover points Um okay. And uh, these hover points have some values. So the lift force is the force that's going to be applied uh, for lifting the vehicle. Uh, lift force mode is a force mode for that. And uh, then the leveling. And that means that when the vehicle is like tilted, uh, let me show you uh, how it's tilted. Um, so I'm here, and then uh, when I uh, jump from something, I, it's like tilted, and you could see that it got uh, leveled. Okay, so when I'm jumping, and it's just leveled so that it would match upwards of the vehicle, would be upwards of the world. So that was it. This means, and a uh, leveling up force is just the force to do those, and this is when to level. I uh, suppose that it's the best when you put this. Uh, this leveling force is force of the leveling up leveling offset. It's the offset uh, from point up because when you how it detects it, I guess I can actually show you that this is a free asset. Um, Uh, here, how it detects it uh, is with the angle. No, this is not it. Okay, I don't remember where it was. But anyway, uh, this is like when. Uh, okay, I'll show you by rotating again. When it's like this, uh, it's testing if it's uh, leveled po correctly by matching this y position and this y position. And then it adds a force at position here, 
but this position is basically the same as this just the height is different so it will not level it correctly uh, so this like let's move this point here by 0 0.3 as it said here and then if this gets pulled down it will pull it down on correct position okay <laughs> I cannot explain correctly it's just good to put it like minus 0.3 or something like that so now leveling height tolerance is just the tolerance of the uh, difference height while leveling and level force is the force mode for leveling now if you were to change anything like 20,000 here you might notice that it doesn't change here and that would cause some weird effects as you can see when I put this zero oh this is not the correct way po uh, point because this is the point five which is here and the center it doesn't really do anything so uh, if I select this to zero and this to zero it's just all of these have no, not all of but they have different values so you can see that it's acting a little bit weird and at some positions it's not really leveling correctly you can see that it's lowering at a few points see okay it now it's just leveling at these two and it creates a very weird effect so what you can do is just let's say 25,000 I think it was like that yeah yeah uh, you can copy the hovercraft uh, values and this is just going to copy from the hover point zero to all of the else ones and this here if you were to let's change this size to one uh, here you have only one point and it would be pretty annoying to just uh, send it and now I'll assign all of these it would be annoying to assign them by hand so you can just copy them and it's going to automatically assign them here set up rigid body is just setting up the rigid body for the default values that work. Okay, now let's get to uh, tilting. Tilt up tight is the upwards uh, from what the vehicle will be tilting. Because uh, I don't know if you know, know any quaternions, but here uh, I'm multiplying. Uh, I get the normal and then I'm multiplying the normal with the angle axis and that uh, rotates it so now when I do look rotation the default value uh, will be offset it by the normal that's how quaternions work don't ask me how I know no quaternions no uh, so uh, if you were to put word up it will not uh, the ground will not affect the rotations because Okay, I will just show you. So now, uh, when it's like this, you can see that it's not tilting uh, with the terrain. And it's tilting a little bit when I turn. So it's putting the world up as the ground, as the up. And if I set the ground normal. I suggest you just use the ground normal. It's working all fine. I do not know why would someone use the uh, the world up, but I just put it there. Maybe someone would like to. Okay, so now the model is just uh, the model itself. Uh, it's the cube in this example. But if you have like a, a model that's rotated, uh, uh, where is the okay control? it must be the mesh and not the model itself uh, so if you have a rotated model it must be the uh, mesh uh, I mean the object that's holding the model as you can see here it's rotated uh, so yeah um, uh, this is the model and now max tilt is the max tilt angle if I put it to 60 you will be able to see that the vehicle is turning a lot see it's just turning 60 degrees when it's turning it looks pretty weird but you know maybe you just have a style to for this to be like this so yeah it's just <laughs> okay uh, this is the max tilt um, 
uh, tail speed is just the speed of uh, tilting and now the cam hole so the camera the target is what the camera will be looking at I put it as forward so oh, uh, here this will be a little bit forward but if I were to put it up there somewhere I don't know where I put it like somewhere up there you can see that it's looking up and yeah uh, when I move it it's just it's looking in this direction uh, the camera is the camera transform itself and the camera position is the position desired position of the camera uh, yeah and that would be it actually uh, oh there is an over your help window there is just uh, some stuff here and this will open this video so yeah that's that's some help and you can see here there's the documentation and a readme I uh, suggest you read through the documentation although now that I've hopefully explained everything uh, you shouldn't have to do that so that's it for this tutorial I do not know if there will be any more uh, updates to this asset it was <laughs> I wasn't even supposed to put it as an asset at the first place I just thought it would be cool so that's it for this tutorial have a great day and have a great week Uber Uberkrafts bye bye